School officials say the cheerleaders' uniforms at West Claremont High School are nothing to cheer about. As Nine on Your Side reporter John Genovese shows us, those uniforms now cross a line. It's the first game of the season. Right here. While the rivalry match played out between Amelia and Glen Estee High Schools, Another back and forth, this one involving cheerleaders, other students, parents, and administration about what is and isn't appropriate to wear to class. The kids are going to hate it. I would hate it when I was that age, too. West Claremont School District officials say this year they're cracking down on the dress code. Among several requirements, it notes tops should be appropriately sized and long enough to cover the midriff. Bottoms can't be tight or loose fitting and must be no higher than the mid thigh in length. I think there's a time and place for everything. And um, at a football game like this, you know, you'd probably be a little more relax, but when you're in a school elastic setting, you probably need to wear something that doesn't distract from the academic focus you should have. Cheerleaders got word they can no longer wear their uniforms on game day. Amelia Principal Stephanie Walker declined to speak with us on camera, but said one of her main goals this year was to uphold all dress code requirements. The same code she says has been in place for years and all with the goal of protecting her students. Now we did speak with some parents off camera who were in support of those cheerleaders wearing their uniforms to class. They say if boys can wear theirs, why can't girls do the same? For now, John Genovese 9 on your side.